While Bonito is known for its extensive selection of ecotourism activities, the city center is also great for a visit. It features a variety of souvenir shops, restaurants, and upbeat nightlife, setting the stage for well-rounded, memorable experiences for tourists. There's nothing like having supper under the stars, outside in the open air. And this is something that you should do while in Bonito because the weather is great right into the evenings. So it's really nice to sit outside, enjoy nature and have a great meal. There are options here to suit all budgets and tastes. And speaking of taste, gastronomy is one of Bonito's specialties. Great atmosphere with lots of music around. Every street corner you can hear music. There's outdoor seating so you can enjoy the night air. And it's great for people watching. The shops are also open late. So you can shop until 11 p.m. all nights of the week. And there's about four blocks this way and that way, all like this. Really cool vibe in Bonito. Let's go check it out. Bonito's cuisine is characterized by flavors and presentations that visitors won't soon forget. With several species of commercially important local freshwater fish in the area, wonderful preparations of fish are the protagonists of many delicious meals here. Bonito's cuisine is also famous for its dishes of mouth-watering meats and sides of farofa and fresh local produce. Fruits that are unique to the area are also highlighted alongside delicious herbs and spices that create famous regional flavors. There are also excellent vegetarian options, colorful fusion dishes with local flair, and of course, desserts to top it all off. Visitors here can enjoy the delicious cuisine amid great atmospheres. Traditional music from Brazil fills the air with its welcoming ambience and interesting reflections of local history and culture are evident at every step of the way. When out at night, you'll find a mixture of folks all enjoying the nightlife in the downtown area. If you're in the mood for some shop, which is the word for draft beer in Brazil, you'll find a craft brewery that produces artisanal beer and serves pizza. Those looking to experience more uniquely regional flavors and try out delicious cocktails featuring local liqueurs, fruits, and flavors. Caipirinhas are a traditional drink in Brazil made traditionally with vodka or cachaça, sugarcane liquor. You also mix it with local berries, local fruits. Different parts of Brazil have different fruits, so that's really cool. You can get regional cachaças depending where you are. In Mato Grosso do Sol State, in Bonito, you can get guarvida. That's a local fruit here, sort of citrusy, grows really well in stony, iron-rich soil, and it's increasingly only found in this area. So it's a really special drink to try when you're here. Guarvida, there's even a festival here for guarvida. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow, that's good. After having a traditional Bonito feast and moseying around downtown, it's a great time to try some of the city's bakeries and ice cream places, which feature cakes and baked goods, as well as gelatos created with unique flavors of the region, including Brazil's famous antioxidant-rich berry, acai. Freshwater rivers that run throughout Bonito are characterized by incredible biodiversity and natural productivity. They are literally the conduits of life in Bonito, and the local reverence and respect for Bonito's natural aquatic features are also on display downtown at the Bonito Aquarium. The aquarium serves as a public education space and research station, as well as an excellent destination for tourists to check out and learn about species of aquatic life that they'll see while snorkeling in the area's rivers. It's open into the evenings, so visitors can stop by after daily excursions and even bring questions to the biologists on staff. We've seen lots of Pirpatanga out in the fresh water here. At the aquarium, we're going to see them jump now. I've seen them jump while we're out 
they, they're known to jump out of the water uh, seeking insects or fruit from trees from low hanging branches. They can go up to a meter 20 around there. So we're going to go for, uh, see if we can do a meter, something about this height. Any takers? Any takers from the Pier Patanga? Going once, going twice. Maybe I got a, a, a oh, oh. We had three takers on that one. Wow, very good. No food left. At the aquarium, you can even feed the freshwater rays little pieces of fish if you like. I'll show you. Another great place downtown to learn about local natural history is the Joboa Project. This is a chance to see boa constrictors, non-venomous snakes with calm demeanors and spectacular patterns. Interpreters here reframe cultural preconceptions about herptofauna and underscore the important ecological roles that these animals play in food webs and in other ecological services on which we all rely. And it's also an all-around fun place to visit. The presence of these educational ecotourism facilities downtown amid the restaurants and nightlife is so uniquely Bonito. It's a fun and family-friendly city that knows how to celebrate life in this beautiful natural area. The city is the perfect host, offering great accommodations and entertainment while putting tourists in the center of natural surroundings. It all pieces together perfectly. Want to know more about Bonito? Stay tuned for our next video.